All right, Nightshade. This is my Nightshade team. Well, this is one Nightshade team. The other team's completely different. Um, you would have seen a snippet of that one. I'll do another video after this anyway, so you'll, uh, you'll see that there. Um, this is the other method. Um, so, we have Crip King, who is on 160 EA in as much attack as I can really give him without like making him 6,000 hit points and getting like shredded. So he's got 7.5k and he's got 9k uh, attack and that's going to be fine for me. The best I can do is 9,500 attack, but that puts me down uh, to about 6k hit points if I don't, if I, if I want to keep up on the EA side. So that doesn't work. I've maxed his S2, um, that helps, because the extra turn to diminish. The idea is exactly the same as the Dream fight, if you go the same as the um, Wolfgang fight. Works the same way as that Lumi fight that I do. Um, he puts the ads up, you use his diminished skill, and then you just go nuts with other skills to like fill up the time. Um, Flash wing 17,000 hit points, just as many as you can give her, and then a decent amount of defense. Because I have like these two like slots defense, and they're just good runes overall. <coughs> Happy with these. Um, and then Cinder, I've got uh, a decent amount of attack on her, a load of hit points, and then uh, 170. Yeah, you want over 160. Um, with Crook King, I'm okay with it. He's usually all right. Uh, with Cinder, absolutely no, 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 uh, no joking around. And so, that's basically the idea behind this boss. It's just, yeah, go for it. Uh, when he clones, thing, um, AOE, and then random other skills. Avoid using Cinder's Dishot, obviously. Um, keep your units healed, keep them alive, and just and just churn away. Uh, in terms of substitutions, you can substitute. Um, for hex that's totally fine if your kaboom is fully skilled you can probably substitute for kaboom but not fully skilled s2 is skilled you'll be fine um the disrupt cinder uh, uh gilgrant works sprocket works but mine's a bit on the low end in terms of like you want more attack mine doesn't work that well for it it's okay and then uh flash wing ljv probably zulu probably loads of them you could swap him out for. Uh, avoid HP regen because he buff uh, he uh, removes your buffs and he'll remove the HP regen and you'll just end up just sitting there like a duck. Not fun. So avoid that. But any any instant healer that does like a shit ton, you'll be fine with. I've maxed her heal skill because it's just awesome. Uh, but I have made this up with, like I did Hex, uh, Sprocket, LJV, that works, it's totally fine. Um, totally different team, so that's another Triple S team you can use, because this, this can Triple S, if I get, uh, if I do it well, enough. So let, let's go for it. So, first things first, turn up auto. Get gold for ready. Um, 99.9% .9 of the time, if he doesn't have the clones up, he'll add the clones. <laughs> Literally. 95% of the time, in my experience. Which is exactly what he didn't do there. And then again. It's interesting. I'll just a heal because I've got like overflowing mana. There we go. The good thing about uh, Cinder is her, her disrupts one mana, so you literally. You don't need to worry about that. This team does not have a mana problem in the slightest. Let me heal that one, two. The evasion and the accuracy down doesn't even matter because you're using diminish, which isn't affected by any of it.
And there we go, clone to dead. We're now rocketing through 60k, which is lovely. He cloned. Bam, bam, bam. Just remember that the more of your skills you get off, the less clones, the less the less the clones attack. Now he's gonna like do quite a bit, so I'm gonna heal up ready. Boom, boom, boom. Then he charges, so I'm gonna charge him. The discharge. We're fine. I'm overflowing, so I'm gonna use that, and I'm gonna use that as well because I'm I just like I've got so much. See, I'm already back because when when you kill the clones. Okay, don't go and shoot then, thank you. And there we go, we're, we're already up to triple S. Lovely. Using that skill. He's taken off quite a bit, so I'm gonna, just going to heal up. Okay, so then I made the mistake. We're still fine, we're not in any issues. I'm just going to wait until Sin just comes back up and use it again. Here we go. One, two. See, and that's why Flash Ring is MVP. Right now, I'm definitely going to need another flash ring heal here, so I'm going to have it ready. Then he heals that up. I'm going to preemptively heal. You've got so much mana, you don't need to worry about that. Oh, he went for him anyway. Okay, I'm just going to go for damage. I've lost uh, Crit King, obviously. But there you go. I'm not going to bother redoing that. You can see it in the triple S. I can see it in the triple S. I just got a bit unlucky with um, Crypt King dying. And obviously, I think, yeah, my um, my other strategy will get the triple S done. But yeah, there's, there's the strategy. And I'll take it. Just shy of a triple S. Very, very nice run. Went really well. Um, I think my record is 163. The skill up isn't necessary, but um, the caveat is you'll be making it in three turns, not four as I was. And therefore, 
you might need a bit more attack to get through. Uh, so it might require better runes. So if you don't have the runes, you, you'll probably need the skill up. Not necessarily, but you might. I don't know. Give it a try. See what you can do. But there you go. There's a very, very safe triple S. In fact, there's two very safe triple S's. You can just swap out for the light units. It's not like this team is just restricted to these three. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I hope that was really useful because that's now two triple S schools and nightshade and there's a third one upcoming. So yeah, build your hex and crit king <laughs> because they're amazing. I'll, uh, yeah, 